Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hannah. This is my first ever video, so do bear with me. Today I'm going to be talking about the best unis to apply to if you're a graduate and you don't want to do the GAMSAT exam and you don't want to do a VMAT, you just want to do the UK exam. So stay tuned. Just a bit of backstory about myself. I graduated from biomedical sciences last year and I managed to get into uh, medicine, but I am studying undergraduate medicine. So that's the five year course. So I'm just going to be recommending two unis for each um, type of medicine. That doesn't make any sense. You guys get what I mean. There are so many more unis online. I just want to keep this video short and just recommend the ones that I think are the best and you guys can obviously make your own judgment but these are just unis that I think aren't as competitive and you're more likely to get a better shot at getting an interview at these unis. Starting off with postgraduate medicine, the first uni I'd really recommend is Warwick Uni. They only do postgraduate medicine, they don't do undergraduate medicine at that university. They accept any type of degrees, there's 193 places in Warwick. They do take on a lot more interviews compared to other postgrad unis. They also only look at the UK exam which is perfect if you just want to do one exam. Their cutoff is quite high, it was 2,570 in 2019. But if you guys haven't um, done the UCAT already, that's the way they kind of grade the UCAT and they will give you an average score but your total score, the max score is like 3,600. If you guys do well in the UCAT, I do really recommend applying to Warwick. They really love verbal reasoning. I have no idea why because verbal reasoning is literally the worst section in the UK exam. Personally, I did not like it. They really love verbal reasoning and you have to score above the national mean for them to consider you for interview. So you've got to bear that in mind. The second uni I would recommend to apply to would definitely be Birmingham University for postgraduate medicine. They have about 60 places and I know that seems like nothing, but seeing as most postgrad unis only really accept like 30 to 40 places, it's pretty decent. They're, they're quite um, quite generous there, aren't they? They don't have a cutoff score for the UCAT exam, so if you guys didn't have that great of a UCAT score, you can still apply to this postgrad uni. The way that they grade you and the way that they pick you out for interview is based on a scoring system and a lot of universities actually do this point slash scoring system. So what they do is basically, depending on your decile or where you ranked in your UCAT exam, they'll give you a point. So for example, if you came in the like eight tenth decile, which is like getting 100% was impossible, they'll give you like eight points, for example. They also t give you points based on what you got in your degree, what you got in your A-levels, what you got in your GCSE, and they add it all up based on your total score they'll invite you for interview. So I will link that all down below for you guys to do a bit of research on. Moving on to undergraduate unis, the two that I would recommend uh, would be University of Belfast and University of Kiel. Um, there are actually a lot more out there that only do UCAT exam, obviously, and that love graduate. So the reason why I picked University of Belfast is for those of you who really just want to get an interview, you want to get a place and you want to pick a university that's most likely to give you an interview. And I really believe that Belfast is a really good option. And here is why. They basically take points like exactly the same as Birmingham, like based on your A-levels, based on your GCSE, based on your UCAT exam. And from there, they will calculate whether or not they'll give you an interview. And you guys can actually already check like the threshold that they had last year. Last year it was 32 points and you guys can go count up the amount of points you guys have already collected and you might find that you already have a lot of points. Do check that out, I will link that below. They also don't have a cutoff score. So those of you who are stressed about their score and they didn't score that high in their UCAT exam, Belfast is a really, really good option. The next uni is Keele University and that is where I go to. They love graduates, they really do. Like 40% of my year are graduates, something crazy like that. I don't wanna big it up because because I go there and it's like a bias, but like, it is a good uni. It's like in the countryside and 
it's hard to find things to do sometimes. From my personal experience, which I'll probably do a whole video on, um, it is a good uni. I do have a cutoff for UCAT, it's 2,280. But that's quite low. I love work experience. When you apply, they send you a roles and responsibility form. So if you're a graduate, you probably have had a lot of work experience like I did. They really do favour that, especially like volunteer work or if you were like a student ambassador at your university. They love it. And that's it for my video. I hope that was somewhat useful. Um, just keep doing your research. I really encourage anyone that's applying this year even during this whole COVID thing to keep going and hopefully you'll get it. Bye.